obviously you must be interested in the show car. Come on down, let me show you my 1941 Willys street rod that I built here in the last year. Won multiple uh, shows up here in the Northwest that I'm interested in selling. Well, here we are. Wait a minute. Where's the door handles? Oh yeah, I shaved those off. Oh, wait a second. The doors are backwards. Oh, that's right. I put suicide doors on them. Well, here we go. Let's get in and start it up and run it out. So I can give you guys a little show of it. show you a few of the little details that we've done to the car. Obviously you can see it's got a power lift trunk which is completely finished on the inside and all kinds of details. All of everything hidden, all leather, lots of stainless. You'll notice my uh, we designed a Willys logo unique to this car. Uh, everything that kind of the concept was all about oval and round because the car the whole body is so sculptured in that way. But you'll see all this is cowhide leather, three, two different colors of leather. Again, the stainless side panels. The speakers are uh, the uh, stereo uh, subwoofers in the back. The batteries back behind this, this is all removable panel. Uh, but again, you'll notice those strut rods. You'll notice the bottom side of the trunk lid. Just everything I could come up with, we tried to think about how to finish it off. Even the leather around the, the openings here and the weather stripping may sound trivia, but there's just hundreds and hundreds of those kind of small little details. You'll notice the recessed tail lights. You'll notice the smooth rocker panel across the back. you notice the fenders have been shaved and cut and fit the way they do. you notice the gas door. Just, just little things to just make it that much nicer. Again, late model gas cap filler. Uh, it's got about a 18 uh, 18 gallon stainless polished stainless fuel tank that's up inside the subframe. Well, as we make our way around, let me show you the engine compartment. Just as we're right here. Again, there's no way I can think about all the little details that we've done to this. Custom hood hinges. Custom the hood's been pinched. We pinched the hood instead of the the generic. Uh, tall Willie's hood that it's known for. I wanted to pinch down. The whole concept was to keep the um, uh, the engine concealed. I love gassers. I love big engines, but I wanted the new late model Hemi engine, which is kind of the what everybody thinks about a Willie's as having. So this is a this is a new uh, dropout uh, SRT8 uh, 6.1 392 Hemi, fully detailed, uh, three onboard computers. Uh, everything's painted, but ain't chrome plated. It's been polished. Uh, the fuel rails. Uh, we built custom valve covers to cover the uh, the um, uh, coil packs, so you don't see any of that. You'll see the custom recessed raised lettering that we did on the machine. Uh, but like I said, every detail, every nut and bolt has been chrome plated or polished. The air cleaner, mass airflow sensor has all been polished and chrome plated. The um, Snorkel cover here for the air cleaners underneath a couple screws. This all comes apart again Every detail of it has been painted or polished. You will not see any wiring You won't see anything that's exposed like I said the shows that I've done I've had numerous comments about the best of engine compartment You'll notice even the simplicity of the, of the vent tag that I put on the firewall um, Just making it all finished. You'll notice all the uh, Button head screws are throughout the whole car. There is not an exposed thread on the car. You'll see the finished, um, the uh, hood hinges, 
They're all polished, special hooded, just self-holding, uh, which makes it kind of unique again. When I'm showing the car, I've got a, I have a, a custom rod so I can cl close the hood down a little bit further and we put it up on stands and all that. You'll see the custom grill recessed. You'll see the fenders have been a grill we built from scratch. That's an all stainless grill, individually, piece by piece. We spent we probably got a hundred plus hours in just that grill alone without having sending it out and having it polished. Um, same thing with the Mini Cooper headlights. Uh, the fenders have been cut and linked back, laid back, and we got again, we've got several hundred hours just, just doing that. Um, we took the crease, the crease line on the original body, took that off and rounded it to give it that smooth finish. You'll notice the uh, the paint is real obvious. This is a uh, Cadillac Escalade Gold Mist is the main body color. Uh, the upper half of the car is called Mocha by uh, a color again for the Cadillac Escalade. Um, we, put, we blended in the, uh, the palette of colors. We put together the real flame graphics with a nice finished pinstripe. Very tasteful, I believe. I've become a little prejudiced, but very, very simple and clean. I've had numerous comments on, on the paint. It's just a real classy look. I wanted the classy street rod. Uh, the ladies seem to all love the car as, as much as the guys do, which makes it kind of fun. You'll notice the extra the, the body lines have been cut. We've chopped the top four inches. We obviously reversed the doors to suicide doors. We've shaved the doors back, put power windows. It's got proximity uh, start. It's got uh, remote, uh, no, no handles. Uh, it's got you know, our side mirrors with turn signals in them, just as you'd see any late model car. Again, it's so much to point out. You'll notice the exhaust. You know, everybody always likes to have the exhaust hanging out of the side of the car. I didn't want it hanging down below the frame, so we built a, it's got three inch stainless exhaust, uh, uh, Mandarin built all the way out to the, the tail tips, the tail pipes here. Again, you'll see the oval concept. You'll see how the body lines fall and roll together. Again, hours and hours of work to get that to fit nice and clean. Uh, you'll get into the see the wheels. We've got, uh, did a lot of work on fitment. We came up with a beautiful combination, I think, was the uh, billet specialties. We've got 17 by eight uh, in the front, um, uh, and we have a, a, a 10 by 22 in the rear tucked up in the, in the, uh, the wheel wells. Um, you'll notice I've got wheeled wood uh, polished disc brakes all of, on all four corners. Uh, numerous amount of hours, numerous amount of money to make it all fit, fit in there nicely as you see it. Again, everybody seems to get a kick out of watching the power lift. Again, no struts. Just closes so smoothly, so well. Shows so well. Now you can see from the back, you can see the uh, recess license plate. Just something simple. None of this is anything that's new to some, but I've done it on everything in the car. Uh, you might even notice as simple as the eye that's here. This has got a backup camera. If you're familiar with Willys, they have a little bit of blind spot to see out of them because they're a uh, confined body. But uh, again, as we make ourselves into the car, I'll show you how that all works. You'll notice again here you can see the profile where the cops have been chopped about three inches. Uh, we spent numerous amount of hours fitting and redoing the, the body to make the windows fit in the way the mannerism they did so they're symmetrically the same on both sides. Uh, a lot of these cars were, when they were built new were never this well. So it really kind of flows well. All the glass is tinted, uh, bronze, a real light bronze tinted glass. Uh, again, spent numerous amount of hours to get that making patterns to make that all fit in a color that would look, look real rich with the car. Uh, maintained uh, weather stripping and uh, window surrounds so it all fit real real smooth, not something big and bulky. All modern, using modern uh, uh, window trim. So obviously you'll get a pretty good feel of what the interior is about. Like I said, we've had it's numerous amount of hours on the interior and design. Uh, you'll see the back. The first thing you'll notice is the backup camera. It's in the navigation system. Uh, if you like to go to a rock concert, we just come out and sit in our car. Uh, we've got some other 
other uh, entertainment area, but this is, uh, if you really want to listen to music, it's got a stereo and it'll just blow your mind. Got it like a 10 or 12 inch subwoofer and multiple uh, coaxial speakers are all built in. Uh, you'll notice the perforation in the door panels and the quarter panels. Uh, got about 800 watts of stereo system. Uh, but again, back to the, uh, the electronics, it's got navigation, backup camera. Uh, you'll notice the proximity for the push button, Viper start button, the vintage air controls and heat, headlights, even accessory button. Everybody's got to have a place to plug in their cell phone to keep it going or a radar detector if you think you're going to drive this car down the road. You'll see defrost holes up on the dash, custom fit. The dash is all custom. We spent hundreds of hours recessing them building the dash the way it looks. Bringing the exterior custom paint to the uh, to the inside. Uh, you'll see the two gauges. I didn't don't like a lot of clutter. Uh, you'll see it's got a tack, full instrumentation. You'll see the ovals. Again, the concept is ovals. You'll see the handles, the door handles on the sides. Everything carries, carries throughout the car. Recess, emergency brake, even a cup holder. Every car show you want to go to, you got to have a cup of coffee, I suppose. That's where that goes. We got, you'll see the, um, I carry the SRT8 uh, shift mechanism. Bought a new one of those and retrofit it to the custom center console. Again, when it's all done, closes up. Repeat of everything, oval foot pedals, oval leather floorboard. Oval center uh, emblem on the center console, oval in the rear in the seats. As you make yourself up and around in the headliner, you'll see it's a one-piece headliner. Again, oval interior light, lots of accents. I, I get just numerous. It's just there's so many things I can't I can't even remember. I just come back and think about it now. You'll see even a billet st uh, steering wheel. I'm just a nut about having everything fit. It's got a flaming river. Steering column, Flaming River Power Steering, it's all polished and, and underneath. Uh, it's got, uh, we even milled the center cap with the same uh, W with the oval in it. So everything carries together. Again, most people would not notice it until you start looking at it. As I open the door here, you can take a look and see even my door sills have the, the, the W and oval in them. I, can, I, I just can't think of any area that hasn't been touched and affected in, in design and ideas. Every time I come around, everybody kind of teased me about the uh, my napkin drawings, but I spent hours drawing little sketches and then taking chalk and drawing the interior out, and, and here's the final results. Let's talk about the undercarriage. You know, you can't see the undercarriage. The bottom side of this car is as nice as the top side. Uh, we've won best in the Northwest for displays alone. I've probably got about 25 grand in a custom display that just blows your socks off. Uh, we've got uh, chrome stands where we lift the car up off the ground. We've got LEDs built into the stanchions. We've got miniature, miniature stanchions that match the rear fenders, uh, third size of the rear fenders with LEDs shining onto the car. We have uh, that show all the undercarriage of it. Again, this car could be upside down and you could show it. It's that quality. I mean, every weld has been, been, been ground smooth and filled. Uh, the frame rails is the same as the, as the, as the gold mist body of the color of the car. Um, four link rear ends, chrome plated. Everything's chrome plated or it's uh, polished uh, stainless or polished aluminum. There isn't a thread, as I said earlier, there isn't a thread or a bolt that's exposed. It's got a flat acorn type uh, chrome nuts that cover up any ex any uh, threads that you see in the bottom of the car. I mean, it may sound trivia, but again, thousands and thousands of dollars when I start to add it up, which I really don't like to do, but that's part of what makes a nice car. Um, but when you put this scene on a display with all the lights, I've got a video screen, a custom built uh, TV screen video that shows the car uh, as we built it. Um, originally and it shows again very well. It's got stainless uh, stainless bars that surround it. It's set up with a 20 by 20 display uh, carpeted to match the car, uh, a color that's neutral with the car. Um, again it just makes a beautiful combination. I said the hard thing about this whole car when we get it as we see it is now I've got 15 miles on it and that's just been between uh, 
my carriage garage, into my trailer, and into a show. Um, it's, it's a beautiful car. It is a car that drives. I have driven it a mile or two down the road and back. It drives wonderful. Uh, it hauls down the road. Um, uh, believe it or not, I've got a, uh, it'll outrun my Viper that I've got. I've got some other performance cars, and the Viper probably is one of the most obnoxious cars to drive. And uh, this car, I think, will outrun it if you can keep it straight down the road. So anyway, beautiful car, show car. Um, you know, unfortunately, I just now don't have the time to go out and show the car, and so that's why I'm putting it out on the market to uh, see if I can find some interest someone else that wants to take this car out and show it nationally. I said, we've showed it in the Northwest uh, a few times now and won best of show, best of paint, best interior, best display, uh, Hall of Fame and the Rotorama in the Northwest. Uh, and, it, and I haven't even really got it out. I said, I've had numerous offers to take it down to good guys. California, uh, Chip Foos shows. I've had uh, just, again, all kinds of invitations uh, since we finished it a year ago, and uh, unfortunately, I just don't have the time to do that. And so I'm hoping I can find a new buyer that it can appreciate it, understand they can buy this car for half of what it costs to build. It's turnkey, ready to go. Uh, just bring a trailer, or we'll get you a trailer and load it up and take it home. So I hope that gives you kind of an idea of what we have going here. If you want to see more information, uh, by all means, we've got a website put up on it. Go to uh, uh, lulays.com slash willies, and it'll give you a full video, full, many, many, many pictures, several videos. Go, uh, it'll show up YouTube, uh, where we've done some, some documentation of it. We've got where it's been at the car shows. Uh, but check it out there. You can e email us. Uh, but you won't be disappointed if you're looking for a real car and you're looking to, to buy something that's show car quality you don't have to do nothing with, uh, this is a car. Give us a call or, or check us out on the website. Well, thanks for seeing the video and uh, hope to hear from you soon.